You're from the Boston area. What is your take on the uh, Patriots uh, football? Oh, the play you know? game. Yeah. All right, well, so, so here's what I could tell you. Yeah. If you deflate a football, uh -huh. you are going to increase the friction, more surface area on the football with your fingers, and you'll have more control. This is why we give little kids Nerf footballs, mm -hmm. because they can squeeze it and has more control. So they're guilty. So, well, no, no, no. So that's the science behind it. Oh. The question is, how did the, the, they deflate? Yeah. And that is thermodynamics. And I actually have a thermodynamics Beautiful. Uh, thing. Beautiful. Let's so, do it. Show right. us some thermodynamics. So thermodynamics is basically how things react to different temperatures. Oh, so we I can, didn't uh, know that. We can show you. We're going to attempt to freeze and actually liquefy your breath. OK, good. And we're going to use a uh, very cold temperature to do that. So go ahead and blow that up. While you are doing that. It uh, doesn't look like a balloon, by the way. <laughs> I need those eventually. All right, while you're doing that, we're going to need something very, very, very cold to try to liquefy your breath. And that is where our old friend, liquid nitrogen, comes in. All right. Where so, do you get liquid nitrogen? Uh, I know a guy. OK. <laughs> so I, uh, I uh, uh, liquid nitrogen is, uh, nitrogen is in the air. It's 80% of the air. But when you compress it, it gets very, very, very cold. OK. So it is 320 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And so you can see that is cold. it is vaporizing the moisture in the air right now and creating a cloud. All right. And so now, oh. with very few exceptions, mm -hmm. when you, uh, when you um, get something cold, it will uh, contract. So go ahead and put your gloves and your goggles on there. OK. All right. And you'll notice this is uh, boiling. What so should I do with this? Uh, you can put that right there. That's okay. fine. All right. Uh, compared to the air in the studio, uh, yeah. it's very, very, very hot compared to uh, the liquid nitrogen. I thought it was cold. So it's well, the air in, is warm. Liquid nitrogen is cold, but the difference is so great that it actually I'm not boils. listening anyway. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's what we're going to have you do. Uh, go ahead and take that uh, balloon. All right. And uh, just apply it to the liquid nitrogen. Just kind of put it right in there. Okay. Down? And then, yeah, sure. And then just gently push it down. Okay. You don't want to touch the liquid nitrogen. That would freeze the cells in your skin, and then uh, you'd be going to the hospital. Thanks for telling right, me now. Keep pushing down. What do you notice happening? It's getting smaller. That's right. Now, the balloon... It's like what happens to my testicles in the pool. <laughs> it's, a whole different, it's a whole different science, but... Oh. All right, so keep pushing down on it. Okay. All right, and so what's actually happening now is your breath is now compressing, and we're turning it into a liquid. So I'm going to give it a Why last little... Why would we do this? Just to bum kids out at parties, or...? No, no, this is really amazing. Okay. So we're going to actually see your breath as a liquid. I'm going to push it oh, a little bit more. Oh, I've always wanted to see my breath as a liquid. See? Mm-hmm. All right, so here we go. Mm -hmm. so now it is compressed. Now, the air has not escaped it. Okay. When we pick it up, that is your breath right there. Wow, can I put it back in? Well, you can. Go ahead and blow on that. Look. Blow on what? Blow on the balloon, and you'll see... Oh. Oh, wow, now that's you're, weird. You're causing it to expand. Wow, that is weird. And oh, we it's, look, oh that, my breath. good. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. All right. All right. So, All right. we can take this to another level. Uh, this bowl, which would normally only hold maybe three or four balloons, if yeah. we put liquid nitrogen in balloons in there, just go take those out. Count the balloons. See. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. That's a balloon animal. I oh, that. ten. <laughs> I think that PETA's going to be all over you. <laughs> this is 11. Oh, look at that. It is a balloon animal. It's a poodle. <laughs> uh, 12, 13, 14. This is a great way to store balloons. It really 15, is. 15, 16, 17. <laughs> 18 balloons in this thing. Wow. All right, so not only that. We can, we can make it even cooler. OK. Cooler. All right. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we've, uh, uh, we've got balloons in here as well. OK. These do not compress as much because we've put uh, hydrogen in these. OK. And uh, so hydrogen uh, normally is very light and it will rise up, okay. just like a helium balloon will. But I if we you. cool it off, it compresses. I'm going to reach down in here and get one of the cooler ones. This these must out. crack the kids up <laughs> at school, right? You know, science, there's always room for failure in science. All right, yeah. here, I'll tell you what. Look, that one's going a little bit. Come OK. On. Oh, there it goes. So here, oh, wow, so look, it's a balloon rising. It's, it's going to, oh, no, wait, wait. It's a hydrogen oh. balloon rising. OK. So here, let's oh. see if we can get some more. So in other words, oh, what about yeah, this one? Ahead. Did I burn yeah. it? Come on, come on. There, there it is. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So, that's wow, that's pretty good. All right. 
I am Jimmy Kimmel. Want to see more? Well, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here. It's just like subscribing to a magazine, but without those annoying cards that fall out of them.